You are a donkey. It's time for donkey of the day. Donkey of the day, huh? I'm gonna fatten all that shit around your eye. They want this man to throw them blows, man. They wait for Charlemagne to tap these gloves. Let's go. Yes. It's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Yes, donkey of the day for Thursday, March 8th goes to a young 21-year-old rapper from Redlands, California named Little Zan. I'm looking at his Wikipedia because I know nothing about this young man, and his Wikipedia said he is an American rapper of Mexican descent, and his stage name is derived from the name of the prescription drug Xanax. Uh, I don't do Xanax on no level. I suffer from anxiety, and I don't do Xanax. I, I don't want medication to deal with my anxiety. I would rather go to therapy. Every Friday, 3 o'clock, baby. No knock to anyone who is on Xanax for anxiety or reasons. Uh, salute to y'all, but that's not my thing. Now, I highly doubt little Xan is on Xanax for anxiety reasons. I'm sure he's using them for recreational reasons. But I think I remember seeing something once where he said he wasn't using Xanax anymore. I don't know how true that is. Uh, naming yourself little Xanax is a hell of a commitment to that drug. All right, so if you are done with Xanax, you need to change your name. But let's get back to the matter at hand. Now, listen, I don't judge... These young rappers. I honestly don't care what they are doing. I just really don't. And I'm not one of those guys who acts like my generation is any better than this generation. Because in my era, we was celebrating the drug culture in the form of hustling. We had music that normalized crime and violence. We had music that objectified and degraded women. I'm not one of those your sin is greater than mine type of guys. I'm simply an energy person. And there's some young rappers I vibe with, some I don't. Period. And it's not about content either. You know, your Uncle Charlotte says in life, you have to have the perfect balance of ratchetness and righteousness. So... You know, um, it's just it's just energy. You know, it's just a, it's just a vibe. You know, if I like the energy of it and the vibe of it and the sound of it, I rock to it. I like everything from Vic Mensa to Twenty One Savage, Vince Staples to Kodak Black. I like Rhapsody to Migos, Tank, Big Sean, Kendrick, Partisan, Fontaine. It's plenty of young rappers I like out here. In fact, it's way too many to name right now. But guys like Lil Xan, they just not one of them. Now, music is subjective. So if you like Lil Xan, good for you. Uh, me personally, I don't give a damn about Lil Xan's music. I can't tell you if it's trash or not because I never bothered to listen. Uh, you ever listen, Envy? No. You ever listen, Yee? No, I haven't heard it. All right, so I'm going to just take a wild shot in the dark and say it's trash. But that's not even an accurate assessment because I don't listen to his music. But uh, his music is not why he's getting donkey today, so that doesn't matter. The reason he's getting donkey today is because Lil Xan said Tupac Shakur's music is boring. Now, let me put this in context, okay? Little Xan was on Revolt TV. Drop on the clues bombs for Revolt TV. And they were doing something called a clout rating. So on a scale of 1 to 10, Little Xan had to give rankings on the clout of certain rappers, okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, he had to rank the clout of Tupac. This is what Little Xan ranked Tupac and said about his music. Who? The born music. <laughs> Play to play that. Let me say that again. Lil Xan had to give rankings on the clout of certain rappers on a scale of one to ten. He had to rank the clout of Tupac. This is what Lil Xan ranked Tupac and said about his music. Who? The born music. Maybe he never heard him. He gave him a two. And he said his music was boring. Oh my god. Okay. Drop on the clues bombs for revolt again. Oh, you got him. Oh, you got the little guy. <laughs> Whoever did that interview, you got him. You put him in a corner, right? Lil Xan gave Tupac. Uh, a two on the clout ranking. I wonder if these kids know what the definition of clout is. I would think so, right? Since they're using the word so much, right? The definition of clout is influence or power. Without question, Tupac Shakur is top three, if not the number one most influential rapper of all time. And it's not even close. If you ask me who the most influential rappers of all time are, just influence, I'm going to say Tupac. I'm going to say Kanye West. I'm going to say Jay-Z. That's my opinion. Just my opinion. But regardless of if you agree with me or not, you have to know that Tupac has more clout than any rapper dead or alive. Okay, Lil Xan, Tupac has been dead longer than you've been alive. You are 21. He's been dead for 22 years. And for the past 22 years, Pac and Def is more famous, more influential, and more powerful than you are right now, alive. Think about this, Lil Xan. You are being asked about a rapper that's been dead for 22 years. They ask you to rank the clout of a rapper that's been dead for 22 years, and you have the nerve to give him a two? Little Zan, ask yourself this. Would they be asking another rapper about you 22 years from now? Probably not. You probably won't even be remembered unless, of course, you die from a Xanax overdose, God forbid, and then you become a cautionary tale. But I promise you, if that was to happen to you right now, you, Little Xanax, you would trend on Twitter for a day, your family would care, and hip-hop would move on. Now, if you think Tupac's music is boring, I'm not mad at that. Music is subjective. I ain't mad at you. Eh. 
Can you just snort it, man? Help it. Come on, man. <laughs> you, you just had to get that one off. Right? <laughs> but listen, we can't allow these youngins, all right, to rewrite the narrative of icons in our culture. I personally have never heard anyone say Tupac's music is boring. I wasn't the biggest Tupac fan until after he died, but that's because I was a mob, deep, biggie kind of guy. So when Pac started coming at them, I chose sides. But I listen to a lot of Pac now. You know why? Because a lot of things he was saying when he was your age, Lozan, are still relevant to this day. Lozanne, will the music you are making now matter tomorrow? Will it matter the day after? Will it matter next week? Probably not. Now, I could be wrong about you, okay? I could be wrong about all of this. You may be the next great rap icon. I highly doubt it, but in the process of you trying to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve, how about show some respect for the pioneers of the culture that made it possible for you to be trash? Seriously, a guy like Tupac died for your rap sins. Okay, I'm serious. I look at Pac and Big's death as the ultimate hip-hop sacrifice. You know how people say if Pac and Big hadn't have died, the game would have been different? I believe that. Okay, a lot of different doors opened when those brothers passed. A lot of lanes opened. And a lot of people came running through those doors and running through those lanes. Some were dope and some were whack. Okay, but without, uh, you know, Pac, Pac, Pac making the ultimate and final sacrifice, okay, without that, I don't think you would be here. Okay? He was the he was the he was the ultimate and final sacrifice, okay? The perfect without blemish sacrifice for your rap sins, Lozan. Pac laid on the cross in order for you to be able to express yourself artistically. Pac made it possible for you to make a living being trash. And you got the nerve to say that a man like that has a two on the clout scale. You have the nerve to say that man's music is boring. Y- you don't scratch me as a thinker, little Zan. Okay, most juvenile junkies aren't thinkers, and Tupac makes music for the thinking man. When you say you think Pac's music is boring, I think that you think Pac's music is boring for the same reason you probably thought school was boring. For the same reasons you probably think books are boring. I'm sure you think TED Talks are boring, too. I bet you think any place of worship is boring. Anything that remotely makes you think, I'm sure you think is boring. Okay, but one day, little Zan, when you are completely sober, if you get to that point, and you're a little older and a lot wiser, you're going to want to think. And you're going to want to learn and you're going to gravitate towards things that teach you because the beauty of the truth is that it's the truth regardless of who believes it or not. And Tupac Shakur, regardless of if a juvenile junkie thinks his music is boring and gives him a two on the clout scale, is absolutely the truth. Okay? Please give Lil Zan the biggest hee-haw. <coughs> So I say the truth don't need no 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 uh, defense, only witnesses. That's all. And the truth is the truth regardless of if you believe it or not. So let little Zan run around and tell his lies about Tupac having a two on the cloud scale and being his music being boring. We know that's not true. <laughs>